All right, guys, we just hopped inside the Hybrid Explorer, and I wanted to give you guys my honest first impressions. Don't mind whatever that says. I didn't drive it before. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we press the button, nothing happens. That's normal in these hybrids. As you press the button, nothing happens to be in it. Oh, looks like the engine kicked on. Heated seat, heated steering wheel. All right, let's see how this Hybrid Explorer drives. There's a backup camera, surround view camera, that's nice. If you guys aren't familiar with the Hybrid Explorers, it uses the 3.3 liter naturally aspirated V6 hooked up to a hybrid system. Now I'm pretty sure the combined horsepower number is 318. So uh, let's just see how this one drives. It's interesting because it's not like a fusion hybrid or whatever where it has like a CVT. It's still a 10 speed automatic just hooked up to a hybrid system. So far, pretty smooth. About to drive back to uh, our back lot here, just so I can show you guys a quick little walk around, show you guys the interior. Okay, let's turn off onto the street. Oh yeah. That's interesting. Definitely drives a lot different than the normal Explorer. Brakes are good. Um, they feel normal, I think. Sorry for the sun glare, it's kind of early in the morning. It's only 7.43. Let's dip into some throttle here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's the naturally aspirated engine. Because if I dipped into a throttle with the 2.3 or the 3 liter, then it would have gave me a lot of torque. Well, let's... Let's dip into some throttle here again. It's very smooth, that's for sure. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the back. We'll do a little walk around and stuff and then uh, we'll drive it again towards the later part of the video. All right guys, here we have our 2021 Ford Explorer Limited Hybrid. And if there's any wind noise, I apologize ahead of time. Looking at the front here, you have reflector LEDs, a LED turn signal, LED fog lights. You have this bright trim on the grill. That's how you can tell Limited is the grill is unique to the Limited like that. 20 inch wheels. They're wrapped in uh, 255, 55 R20s. This is an upgrade wheel option. They come standard with 20 inches, but they're a different design. Look on the side here, you can see it has a nice little chrome strip right there, a little chrome strip on the door handles, and the mirror caps are black. You have a turn signal, you have a puddle light, and a camera underneath. Coming along to the back here, Limited gets the dual exhaust out the back, and it has like the nice finish around the exhaust tips. This one does have a trailer hitch. See it says Limited, and then it says Hybrid over there. So that's kind of cool. There is a window sticker there. I'll pop up a picture on the screen. Before we check out the inside, let's check, take a look at what makes this Explorer different than every other Explorer. So you can see we have a 3.3 liter naturally aspirated V6 instead of the four cylinder. So that's kind of interesting. And then you can see it has the orange uh, tubes and stuff for the hybrid system. I think it's over here or something. Pretty decent amount of room around the engine. It does have the strut tower brace. 318 horsepower, 322 pound-feet of torque, 27 city MPG and 28 highway, and then 27 combined, because hybrid, hybrids are always like similar in numbers like that. You do have a prop rod instead of a hood strut, unfortunately, but you do have a little, um, sorry, the stupid sun is in the camera. You do have a little hood liner right there, so that's cool. All right, guys, on the inside, it looks like every other limited Explorer. You do have soft touch right here. You have a nice little leather material right here. Um, this nice bright finish around here. Automatic up down for the driver and passenger window. Uh, memory seats. Power steering column. And then hybrids, you actually have a button for the gas cap. So that's different. Then you have a bright sill plate right there. 10 way power driver seat. It is a leather trimmed seat, so that's nice. But let's hop inside. All right, just hop inside the Explorer. Let's go ahead and start it up. And like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, you start it up and nothing happens. The RPM is still at zero. But let's take a quick look at this interior. You do have the gloss black finish over here, heated 
seats, heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, dual zone automatic climate control. You do have Sync 3.4, it's not Sync 4 yet. I don't know when they're gonna do that, but you do have a little hybrid screen, so let's take a look at that. As it loads, it might take a minute. Okay, let's go back and let's try to take a look at it again. Okay, there we go. So it's idling and then engine on due to heater setting because I had the heat going. So that's interesting. We'll take a look at that as we're driving. But you do have this nice little wood finish right here. Um, there's your glove box, no light, unfortunately. They took that out for 2021. You do have the Bang & Olufsen stereo, so that's cool. Down here, you have your drive mode select. Oh, wow, there's a button missing. I'll have to figure out what button is missing because I know that other explorers have this button. So I'll have to double check on that. But let's look in here. No light, but you do have a little 12 volt in there. Wireless charging, that's cool. Ambient lighting in the cup holders. You have a light in this one. You have two USBs and a 12 volt. Looking up top here, you have auto dimming rear view mirror. You have two LEDs. This is to control your sunroof. This one does have the sunroof option. You have your garage door home link right here. This is really convenient. I really like this instead of having those uh, controls that rattle around when you're driving. LED illuminated vanity mirrors. Let's take a quick look at the steering wheel. It is leather wrapped. It's, it's heated and it gets heated very quickly. So that's really nice. So if it's freezing outside, it does warm up fast. You literally only have to wait like a minute and then it's already warm. But uh, you have the bright finish around the steering wheel. This is to control your little display up there. This is for your adaptive cruise control, lane centering assist, a whole bunch of other safety technology you can do with the cruise control, all that good stuff. Let's take a quick look at this gauge cluster. It's the typical gauge cluster in other Explorers, but you do have electric driving now, so that's kind of interesting. And then when you look at your trip, it shows uh, electric driving at the bottom, how many miles you drove in electric. So it has some interesting stuff. Uh, let's see if there's any new Oh, driving history, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Restore hybrid vehicle default values. Uh, I don't know what that means. Take a look at the screens and see if there's any new screens on here. Okay, trip, that's all the same. EV coach. So let's put up this trip, EV coach, because that isn't on normal Explorer, so we'll take a look at that. So let's see what that looks like. EV coach, looks like it just shows a bar. Sorry, the sun is glaring on it. That's I can't control that when we drive we'll keep ev coach up and see what that does but that's that about concludes the front here let's take a quick look at the back and then we'll get on the road again and just as i open the door i forgot to mention you do have power folding uh mirrors on the side all righty checking out the back seat you have uh manual sunshades that's kind of cool you do have a cup holder right here some nice bright finish it is all soft touch back here you have some nice leather seats that have some dimples in them that's kind of interesting and then you have two heated seats back here for the captain's chairs. This one does have the captain's chairs configuration. Cup holders in the middle, third row, best used for children, obviously, because it's really low to the ground. Like my knees would be in my, in my mouth if I was back there. Two USBs and a home outlet, so that's cool. You can see we have a power lift gate right there. I think all, ex all new Explorers come with a power lift gate, so that's standard. Believe me, they do fold flat and it's really nice. It's really quick too. But pretty decent amount of room behind the third row for being a, not a full-size SUV. And then when you fold it flat, you have a whole bunch of room. So that's pretty nice. Alrighty, now we're back inside and we're getting ready to drive it. So I love the driving portion of the video. I like showing you guys what it looks like too, but driving portion is my favorite. But let's see what kind of modes we have here, if there's any new modes. Okay, that's all the same. Slippery, trail. Okay, that's all the same. It looks like it's missing one now. Oh, it's missing a sport. Oh, no, sport mode's over here. Okay, well, looks normal to me. So let's go ahead and get start off in normal mode. We will go to sport mode later, of course. But let's take a let's take a drive here. Setting off in electric mode. That's kind of cool. Look at that little display. But yeah, I kind of like driving in electric mode. It's nice and smooth. So very cool so far. Let's dip into some throttle, see if it stays in electric. Oh, okay, hybrid comes on when you give, give it some throttle. But at least when you're cruising around, you can um, be an electric. By the way, guys, I drove a Mach-E yesterday, and Mach-E really surprised me in a good way. So if I ever get a chance to film a video on that, I will. All righty, guys, we're coming to our notorious stop sign here. So let's go ahead and put it in uh, sport mode. Looks like we got some energy return from the braking. All righty, sport mode, there we go. Kicks on the engine. 
And uh, we'll give it a little bit of gas, see what happens. Oh. <laughs> oh, we need to get some gas. That's funny, it took off like really quick. The hybrid boost and then with the naturally aspirated having the torque like there right, you know, right from the get go. That is, that is pretty funny. You can really take off from a stoplight. Okay, so I'm not, I'm liking the, I'm liking the hybrid so far, it's pretty cool. And the V6 does feel right in an Explorer. Like the four cylinder just sounds a little bit weird. And I don't know if you guys can hear on the camera because like I said, I film all my videos on an iPhone. I'll eventually upgrade. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it made kind of an interesting sound. Like you heard the V6 sound, but then you kind of heard like a, like a roaring, like hybrid sound too. So that was kind of interesting. Actually, let's turn right. But yeah, it has really good throttle response. Well, I'm in sport mode, so it has good throttle response in sport mode. We're gonna get back onto the, the street here and see what it does. <laughs> that's funny, it can really, it can really take off. That is, that's pretty cool. It, it's it literally more instant than the three liter V6 and the 2.3. Obviously the three liter, once you get an RPM is faster, but. You guys hear that sound? It's like a, this is a pretty cool engine actually. I wish they had this engine available. It doesn't have to be a hybrid, but I wish they had this engine available in the normal Explorers. But yeah, let me let me come to a stop here and show you guys how it just takes off from a stop. It's just instant, just. <laughs> that is so funny. And it sounds pretty good, actually. I don't know if there's any fake noise in that, but it does sound pretty good. So yeah, I'm actually impressed with the Hybrid Explorer. It's actually pretty cool. It's, pr it's a good option if you guys want a hybrid. But keep in mind that the highway MPG of the normal 2.3 Explorer is the same. Well, let's go ahead and dip into some throttle. Okay, so when you're already going, it doesn't give you that surge, that initial surge like it did before. You know something I just thought of? I'm thinking of maybe at the end of every single review video I do, I give it a score out of 10 like based on everything, like acceleration, how it looks, space, comfort, everything all compiled in one. And this Explorer, I honestly kind of like it. So I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it a seven and a half out of 10. I think it's a really decent car. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.